out here waiting for the bus. Axel wants to just play in the snow. He said, I like the snow. I love the snow. <laughs> Sit up. Okay. Look. Told me it's gonna be cold on the bus, but he don't want to listen. Ah. All right. So if you watch yesterday's um, vlog, you'll notice it's looking a lot different. Um, I didn't vacuum this side and over here. I haven't vacuumed this side yet because. <laughs> August just woke up apparently. By the time I moved all, everything over here, Greg was ready for bed and he gets up really early in the morning. So I was like, okay, I will finish vacuuming this part today. So I need to vacuum this side um, and then tackle organizing and <laughs> working on all of this stuff. Um, and that over there, but that's not really that big of a deal. So my goal is to move my bed and the headboard up over there. Um, Cause I really want to be able to use this lighting from my window to film in here. So I don't always have to rely on my studio lights in the bedroom. And uh, I need to get a new bedroom set. All right, I'm gonna go grab him before he gets too mad. Do it. Why are you so mad? <laughs> so pretty out and you can't even really tell because for whatever reason my phone does not pick up the snow like it really is but it's so gorgeous snowing so this is what the door of my closet looks like um <laughs> I don't know any way to make this look nicer I just I guess I could hang them all up in my closet and just leave my doors free but we go through like grabbing jackets and stuff so often that it's just not practical so if you saw my part one um, of my closet cleanup or declutter or whatever you saw what it used to look like but I will try to put in some a montage of what it used to look like before And this is what it looks like now. I honestly think it looks like it has so much more space than it did before, which is weird because I've added so much more crap. So down here is the shoe rack that used to be by my bed. Um, I can't use the very top rack in here because I've had this in here before and all the top shoes would always fall. And this is a very cheap, like, crappy rack anyways, and I do not like it. Okay, so... I do have plans to completely redo this. So this is not gonna be my last um, closet tour show or whatever. Um, I really want to take off this top shelf, raise this bar up higher and do a second bar, and then not sure what I want to do with that wall, but and then put like shelving all the way up on this side. I don't know. I haven't decided for sure yet. Okay, so when you come in, this is how I have stuff organized. So, here is my um, door. I have my mirror in here, but my door is usually open, so I just like will look in my room. Um, I have more of these to put up, but I like saving these. I just think they're cute. Usually they have cute messages. Like I think Rebel Rebel and Dreamer and then like my first Morphe purchase, which I might just take that one down because um, 
it's not really like as cute I got that a couple years ago I thought it was cute um, black milk I think is cute but I have a lot more of my ipsy stuff that would probably fill up this whole door um, so when you come in I just recently got this from Fashion Nova it's one of those where it's like ripped in the front um, I think they're cute though <laughs> Um, I would not pay full price for this though because it is basically just like nothing. Um, I think the tag said like $17. No flipping way. I got this on Cyber Monday for $2. And even that is like a lot for this, but I mean, it is nicely done. Like, it's not spraying or nothing. What do you want? And then I have like my um, black completely lace see-through dress that I don't really wear too often um because I have to find really something to wear underneath it <laughs> and then this came with like a nightgown the nightgown's downstairs actually but I wear this like a kimono like a short sleeve one um and then I have like my body shapers that have um like top straps then my body suits and then starts dresses um I just got this one at Target. It was on sale. I got it for eight, almost nine dollars. Well, like eight thirty. Um, but I thought it was super cute. Thought it would be nice to wear to like a Christmas party or something. Um, so there's more dresses. And I try, like, my stuff has gotten out of, I need to reorganize out of organization, but, like, every new type of, um, clothing article, I always start from, like, the thinnest straps to, like, the longest, so, um, like, the dresses get to where they're, like, more long sleeve, and same thing with my tank tops, like, my spaghetti straps, and my thicker straps, and then, like, my almost, they're, like, almost shirts, but they're still tank tops, um, and then I have my cold, sh cold shoulder shirts. Um, this one is technically a tank top, kind of. It's like a, I don't know. Okay, and then I get into my t-shirts. This, I'm probably not going to wear again. It's, if I'm, like, it's super grandma-y. But actually, it, like, looked better on. I didn't think it looked bad on, but, um, so more shirts this one is an actual like tank top with like this like thing over it and then I start doing like my quarter sleeve or my half sleeve which this is longer than that one but like I said it came out I, I guess I haven't worn this one yet so it still has a tag on it but I got it at Walmart for like three dollars so I think this is a long sleeve that needs to get moved and so does that one that one or maybe we're just in long sleep now and then I have a lot of my flannels which I usually like to have them all together but again like I said I need to reorganize these two shirts are actually maternity but they're cute so I still wear them sweaters and then I this area really got out of whack because this needs to be over there and this is fine over here but um this is like my vest and my cardigans my um I can't think of whatever sweaters that are like open zip ups and then uh, the hoodies and stuff used to be with them but I moved them so just more tank tops and then this is one of my favorite vests it's always been one of my favorite ones and then I I wore this to the Lil Peep concert and um, as you guys know he passed away and so I don't think I'm ever gonna wash this thing <laughs> it's like just one of those things um, and then I the only other time I've worn it since that concert was to another concert I went to so this is gonna be like my concert um, outfit from now on I think and I kind of want to put something for Lil Peep on here but I don't know yet so more like kimono-y stuff which I probably can put that black one down here I just I need to redo that and then over here is most of my scarves not all of them I have so many um, and here I have like all my tank tops that are not like dressy like 
my only I only hang up my dressy tank tops um, and these are like the ones I wear under t-shirts and when I wear to lounge around and then I have like my leggings these are my t-shirts that some of the t-shirts that I have hanging up are like these ones are just plain everyday ones um, but I was trying to just make more room in my closet so I started um, folding like just my everyday like random shirts but I started hanging them up again so this isn't as full as it was and then I think down here I have um, like more types of pants and then like I said scarves and then like jackets zip ups um, sweaters more sweaters and hoodies and then over here I have most of my jeans um, my skirts and then dresses that are more fall I have um, more of my shoes over here and then we have Greg's clothes <laughs> the ones he hangs up he hang, like he's got a lot of shorts and stuff in his dresser and then I just have boxes down there more shoes a bag my cowboy boots are down there more bags and then more shoes um, and then I need to clean off up here but that is most of what's been going on with my closet so hope you like Okay, so I'm doing my Ipsy unbagging, and here is the card for the month. Got some cute little uh, signature notes on here. Um, I talked about this. I did use the um, other mask. They're the exact same times, but I used the other one the other night, and I loved it. My skin felt so great after using it, so I will probably pick up more of these. So the bag's cute. I mean, it's plain, but it's got chocolate on it <laughs> um, and some glitter at the top. And then it's a really pretty like Tiffany blue on the inside. So that's cute. So I've already taken everything out of the packaging, but I got this highlight brush. It's very glam and glitzy and the bristles feel so soft. So I love that. Okay, next I have this um, City Color Summer Eyeshadow, and it's a girl, which is kind of a random name. Um, so I go ahead and I do a quick little swatchy swatch for you guys. Um, the color's okay. It's not as shimmery as I thought it would be, but it's not a bad color. So, there you go. There's the swatch. So next we have this Smashbox lipstick in Legendary, and then the last thing is this NYX um, Faux Blacks Midnight Inner Eyeliner. That's a long name. Um, so when I opened this the other day, the yeah. top of it, Maxim's excited, the top of it was all messed up, um, so it's about to just fall right off. So I'll have to resharpen it, which is kind of a bummer, but it's a really pretty, um, blue so I don't really use blue liners a lot but I might try this one out for some cute holiday looks so this is all I could get for a swatch um, because the <laughs> top fell off like I said it would overall I'm not that happy with this month's bag you would think with it being Christmas time holiday time for I mean even if they don't celebrate Christmas there's a lot of holidays there's Hanukkah Kwanzaa and everything that they would have added like an extra thing. I know I got two masks, which made it six things, but it was still basically five. So, eh, I'm not really that impressed this month. It's so much harder to see in life. It's like I almost want to just look through the camera instead of this, instead of real life, because it's better. But it's a little bit of a like delayed reaction, so I don't want to uh, get in the right but the camera definitely could see way better than my eyeballs can right now. I literally hate people so I'm going home and the roads on the back roads or whatever the quality of the roads the quality of the back roads are a lot worse than the highway because 
they're less driven on and whatnot. So it's a lot slicker. Um, the speed limit on the road I take to get home is 45. I was going about 40, just a little bit under, because they're not, they weren't too bad, but it was like just enough to where if I was getting a little too crazy, I felt myself like slipping and sliding. Um, the road I'm on right now was really bad to the point where like I can't even get over to completely on my side of the road because there's so much snow. Um, because it's not very driven on, so everybody just drives in the middle, except now there's cars coming and I'm coming this way. But, um, anyways, I'm taking this road because I have to go to my mother in law's house, and um, the road that I had to turn on, it's like a dangerous intersection because it's right over the curve. The speed limit's 45, but everybody freaking flies up and down there. And um, I started going really slow, like to the point where I was like just not even really pressing on the gas because I knew I was gonna use my brakes to turn. So I hit the brakes. Oh, I didn't hit them hard. Like I was easing into it and then, you know, my turn was coming up and I'm like, I'm not slowing down very fast. And sure enough, I, you know, slid past the turn, but I didn't like slide like all over the place. Like I slid in a straight line because I wasn't going very fast. Um, and I ended up passing the road. So my turn signal's still on. I passed up my road and my plan was to back up. Well, I couldn't back up right away because there was a vehicle behind me. Well, they turned and then there was a vehicle behind them. And so I was just waiting there for a second for him to go around me so I could back up. My turn signal was still on and he honks at me like, really? But yeah, these roads are no fun. Oh, the roads suck very badly. I'm only going like 25 miles per hour. All for some homemade food. I'm a fatty, I'm a fatty. Let's see if we slide right now. <laughs> There's somebody taking up half of the road. It's like I can only get so far over till I'm hitting the snowbank, man. Alright, I'm gonna go though. Probably gonna have to use two hands out like going around the curvy lake roads. End up flinging off into the lake. Which is one of my biggest fears. <laughs> so I'm, I gotta be extra cautious, you know. Tree, not the cutest. Oh my gosh. I want one. Okay, so I just got to my mother in law's house. She'll probably freak out if she ever sees me filming in here because I don't know. I don't know if she'd care or not, but like some people, like if you're not in there, maybe they feel like their house isn't clean. Her house is nice, so it's whatever, but there's this Christmas tree. So cute. All of the alcohol and wine. <laughs> but um, I came over here because she made the food and was like, told me to come. So there's lemonade, looks like salad, sloppy joes. I don't know what this is, but she makes really good food, so. Mmm, I have some dang good cornbread. But yeah, so I'm gonna eat and then head home. Audrey. Did you have a rough day at school? <laughs> what are you doing? Do you want to take your coat and your shoes off? Uh oh, it's Steven. Audrey's a little bean and she just farts all over the place. <laughs> 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 and the poop is in the ground. Gross. <laughs> I, I fart the shower. Yeah, you were farting in the shower. You were farting all over the place, you stinker. <laughs> and August is farting right now. <laughs> Oh, 